Welcome to the Optimist Newscast. I'm Max Preston. This Wednesday, the Students Association held a meeting to discuss their new platform of communication through the app called Slack. The Congress also reviewed the semester's analysis and their overall progress this month. The Slack app will help SA members communicate more effectively between individuals or through group channels. During the meeting, the Treasurer and the CFO spoke on the current budget as Congress voted on which bills were eligible to pass. President Danny Burke shared more about SA's goals for the rest of this month. In the meeting today, we covered uh, two kind of internal things and then four external. Um, the two internal, one was communication among Congress. Something we're really kind of focusing on this year is um, the Executive Cabinet and Congress working as a team. Congress looks forward to using their communication method as they continue through the semester and on to next year. Last Tuesday, the ACU Jazz Band had their annual winter concert. They played pieces from Stan McKeaton, Mike Lovelace, and Gordon Goodwin. Under the direction of Dr. Mike Rogers, the band performed multiple pieces including a special performance of Baby It's Cold Outside with the vocals of Kristen Ward and Dr. Matt Robertson. The concert had a great turnout and left the audience with a hint of holiday spirit. Michaela and Allie Hackett qualified to participate in the NCAA Division I National Cross Country Championships this week when they finished 5th and 6th last Friday in the South Central Regionals. This is the first time in school history that anyone has qualified for the Cross Country Nationals. The women's team finished 5th overall, beating big schools such as Texas A&M, TCU, and LSU. Ryan Cleary finished the highest for the men, coming in at 62nd place. As a team, the men, the men finished in 19th place. Nationals for the Hackets will take place this Saturday in Louisville, Kentucky. The football team played its final home game of the season against Sam Houston last Saturday and gave the fourth-ranked team in the nation a scare, losing only 44-35. to Senior linebacker Sam Denmark broke the ACU record for career tackles, getting to 389 when he made 11 against the Bearcats. Redshirt freshman Luke Anthony started for the second week in a row and threw for 297 yards and five touchdown passes. He also set the ACU record for the most completions and attempts in a game, completing 37 of 67 attempts. The Wildcats are now 2-8 overall and 2-6 and in the conference. The team will next play its final game against Central Arkansas, who is the top team in the Southland Conference and ranked third in the nation in the FCS. That's all for this week. For more campus news and events, follow us on Twitter, Instagram, and Facebook at ACU Optimus. For the Optimus Newscast, I'm Max Preston.